For all the talk about the new Gordie Howe International Bridge linking Detroit and Canada, we really haven't seen much movement on our side of the border. Tonight that is changing as the state is going after a church in the Delray neighborhood to get the project moving forward. Mara McDonald in southwest Detroit tonight with the story. Mara. You're absolutely right. The first lawsuit, but this one really is going to set the bar for what happens to these other churches as well as other major public properties. Land, what the first Latin American Baptist Church sits on, is crucial to the development of the new Gordie Howe International Bridge. The state is using eminent domain laws to strike deals with landowners in Delray to buy up their property, already offering the church $411,000, an offer to which the church says, no thanks. And you feel like you have to do something to survive. You do the best you can. Ackerman tells us for this congregation to survive, it's looking at needing $2 million. It already has a new church in southwest Detroit to move into, but it requires massive renovation. The church is the first big property owner the state is trying to buy up. It's the first lawsuit the state has filed to move the bridge project along, which is far further ahead across the border. I think the congregation has faith that in the small f and large f sense that fairness is a result of our judicial system. MDOT, for its part, has something to say tonight as well in a statement which in part reads, MDOT is working with the church to provide ample time for relocation prior to the state taking possession of the property. MDOT will continue discussions with the church on acquisition issues in hope of reaching an agreement. And you know, if this doesn't seem hostile or angry, Attorney Ackerman tells me it's not. Really, at this point, it's down to what's fair and what's a negotiation. We are in Delray. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. Okay, Mara. New tonight.